In creating variation on Amazon Seller Central, you can either have different listings for each variation or you can combine those listings together to create a variation listing. In creating a variation listing, you need to have a parent and a child listing. The child listing are individual listings for each variation. This means that this is a physical product. The parent listing, on the other hand, is the one who holds all of the child listings together. In this way, your buyer will have an option to select different variations in just viewing one listing. Now, let me show you how to do this on Amazon Seller Central. Log into your account first at sellercentral.amazon.com. The first thing that we need to do is to add a product. You can either go to the Add a Product page by clicking the Catalog tab on top and select Add a Product or by clicking the Inventory tab and select Add a Product. Both of the steps will lead you to the same Add a Product page. If what you're selling is already in Amazon's catalog, then you can just search for it on the search field. But if it's a totally new product listing, then select the I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon, just right below the search box. It will then take you to the page in where you will need to select a category. You can browse through the list. As you notice, there are locked category. This means that your account is not allowed to sell on this category. If you're planning to sell in this category, then you may need to contact Amazon to get an approval. An alternative way in searching for your product is to use the category search tool. Just search for the item that you're selling and it will give you the matching categories for your item. Just select the appropriate one. After you have selected your category, it will then take you to the Add Product Wizard. As you can see, there are four tabs on top. If you want to add more details for your post, you can turn on the advanced view and you should see additional tabs. We'll go through each tab. First is the Vital Info tab. These red fields are the required fields. You need to fill them out or else your product won't be posted. On the product ID, you need to place the barcode number on the field. Then, select the type of product ID that you have. Usually, if your item is from Europe, then it's EAN, and if it's from the US, then it's UPC. Then indicate your product name. If you're selling a private label, then you can just place your company on the brand name. Each category has different field requirements. Sometimes, it may ask you to indicate the manufacturer. Since we have selected a t-shirt category, then we need to indicate the outer material type, the department, material composition, size, size map, color, and color map. Let's skip the variation step, since what we're creating is the child listing. So the next is the offer tab. This is where you'll be indicating the pricing details of your listing. Enter the seller SKU. This is any identification that you can give to your item. You can just make up your own SKU and don't worry about it because Amazon doesn't care what you indicate there. It's for your own reference. Indicate the price of your item and the quantity. Now, if Amazon is the one fulfilling your orders, then you may not need to fill this. You can just scroll down to the bottom at the Fulfillment Channel field and select Amazon will ship and provide customer service or FBA. You won't then see the quantity field. Indicate your item condition and the maximum order quantity for your buyers. You can leave the other fields. The Compliance tab is where you'll be indicating the additional details for the item that you're selling if it is hazardous. Examples of these are batteries, 
detergent, thinners, and etc. Images tab is where you can upload the pictures of your listing. The description tab is where you can add your product description. This is also where you can add your key product features, which is known as bullet points. You can add up to five bullet points per listing. The keywords tab is where you can add the additional tags that doesn't fit or isn't used in the product description. The search term is your backend keyword tool. You can add a maximum of 250 characters. Finally, the last one is the More Details tab. This is where you can add your product detail information that's shown on the specification section of your product listing. These are not required, but it's always advisable to indicate additional information of your product. Once you're all set, click the Save and Finish button. Do the same thing to all of your child listings. And once you're done with all of your child listings, you can then create the parent listing. Again, the parent listing is not a physical product, but it connects and holds all of the child listings and place them in one listing. In creating the parent listing, you just need to do the add a product step and this time, you will be adding variations. Now, make sure to select the same category with your child listings. After, you can just skip the vital info page and just go directly to the variations tab. Select the variations theme. For this example, I'll select color. Indicate the color variations for your product and click the Add Variations button. Indicate the color map and the seller SKU of each item. Use the same product ID of the child listing that you have created. Select the item condition the price, and the quantity. If this is an FBA, then you can just place zero on the quantity. Since we have added the variations, the product ID field has been taken out on the Vital Info tab. Fill out all of the required fields, and once you're all set, it may take about 15 minutes for your product to show up on Amazon. So that's it for this quick tutorial. Do you like this content? If you do, don't forget to like this video. Click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you will get notified in our next video.